Good morning, everyone. Today, you're in reading class. We're going to read our new story titled The Big Race, found on lesson 14 on page 125. So we're going to discuss our new target skill, which are conclusions. Our story today is a fantasy. A fantasy is something that cannot really happen in real life. So as we read the story, we're going to look for animals who can talk and act like people which that cannot really happen in real life, and events that cannot really happen. So we're going to read the story, which is a fantasy. The Big Race, written by Pam Munoz Ryan and illustrated by Viviana Garo Garofoli. Win the Big Race. Win the cake. Today is the Big Race. I like cake, said Red Lizard. I will run in that race. Red Lizard gets to the race. Four animals will run with him. Cottontail is not late. She will run in lane one. Rat naps in the shade. She will run in lane two. Snake takes his spot in lane three. Road Runner stands in lane four. He waves to his pals. Red Lizard is in lane five. The animals bend and hop. The flag is down and the race starts. Many animals watch and clap. Get set, go! Cottontail does not get far. Rat falls into the hay. Nate stops and chases bugs. Roadrunner trips over a rake. Who will win? Find out. Hip hip hooray! Red lizard, who wins? Watch me eat this cake, he yells. Red lizard looks at his big cake. Red lizard looks at his pals. His pals like cake too. What will red lizard do now? Let's see. Red Lizard gets five plates. He gets cake for his pals, too. Hip, hip, hooray for Red Lizard. The end. So today's target skill for reading are conclusions. Sometimes authors do not tell all the details in a story. Readers must use clues in the words and pictures and think about what they already know. This will help them make a smart guess about what the author does not tell. This smart guess is a conclusion. The author does not always include all the details in what he writes. Most of the time, we can find lots of details in the pictures and draw conclusions of why we think certain things may happen. Like, for example, in our story, The Big Race, um, why do you think Snake did not win the race? The author really does not tell us why Snake didn't tell the race. He just tells us that Snake spots and chases bugs. Why do you think Snake stopped and chased bugs? I can come up with a conclusion that maybe Snake was really hungry and couldn't wait for the race to be over. So he decided to chase some bugs. Or maybe he just got distracted and wanted just to chase bugs for some fun. There's many conclusions we can make why many of these characters or animals did not win the race. So for today's classwork, we're going to answer the questions on page 146. There's just three questions here down below where it says classroom, conversation. You can either answer the, the questions on a piece of paper or you can make a video recording your answers. And your answers will be your very own conclusions of what you think of what happened. So remember, 
when you make a conclusion, there's no right or wrong answer. So your questions here will be, number one, why does Red Lizard win the race? Number two, how does Red Lizard feel when he wins? And number three, Red Lizard shares the cake. Is this the right thing to do? Why or why not? So now, get ready to record your video answering these three questions, or you can simply answer them on a sheet of paper. All right, guys, we'll continue during the week discussing our story. Hope you enjoyed it.